All right, so welcome back, and hopefully you're just coming from the normal strain video. And in this video here, we're going to be talking about shear strain in in uh, in engineered systems or in bodies and structures and just you know anything. Really, anything is a structure, but it's so you know normal strain deals with uh, elongation or contraction of a body. So if I had, for instance, a a box here, let's say here, my normal strain deals with you know, if I'm pulling on it uh, this way, like this right here, I might expect a rubber band. Let's say I'm pulling on a rubber band. I might expect it to elongate and contract. Okay. So it gets, it contracts in, in this direction and elongates in this direction here. And that's normal strain. This, this normal, these normal uh, deformations, these deformations that are perpendicular to various axes. So, for instance, here, this might be the x axis here, elongation in the x and elongation in the y, okay, in the y or contraction in the y direction. Now, with shear strain, shear strain would involve, let's say, for instance, I have this fixed element here and as you, as maybe you noticed in the previous video, the shear strain is associated typically with shear stress, right? It's associated with shear stress. And here I have, if I'm applying an applied load on the outside here, causing this, say this element that's connected here, you know, what happens is I have not necessarily an elongation. I don't have an elongation, but rather I have an angle change that occurs. So here, here, here. These angle changes occur, which is uh, which which is really associated with shear strain. And so shear strain, by definition, shear strain is the angle change, angle change, angle change between two line segments. Okay. And so if I if I look at a body or a structure that's, I have, a, I have some structure, ah, it's some arbitrary potato, okay, or football, a ba basketball, whatever you want it to be. It can be a beam, right? It's, it's everything you want it to be, right? It's a, it's a dream come true, okay? And anyways, if I, if I look at that and I look at a line segment, just like we were doing before, if I look at line segments, two line segments right here, and let's say this line segment here, these line segments, I'll call this uh, a... B and C are initially perpendicular, okay? Initially perpendicular, which which is pi over two in radians right here. This line segment, okay? And it has let's say these axes here. We'll say it has like a x and y axes or something x y, okay? Then I apply load on this body here. Here, let me use a different color. That that just looks confusing. It looks like my body has horns. And we'd be evil, but no. Okay, so here let's use. Uh, um, oh shoot, let's say let's use yellow. Can you even see that yellow? Yellow. Okay, so here is X. Here is Y, and that is oh, it's too. That's orange, and I'm spending too much time on color. Okay, so here X and Y right here, and then I I, I apply loading to this body, and it deforms. This one, you know, it stretches, elongates, and. And now I have this new A prime, a new B prime, A prime, B prime, and C prime here. And uh, um, and really, what's happened is is that I've had all of these external loads being applied to this. Let's say call it like a band, like this, and and. Uh, Maybe something like this, some force, a line load, a pressure, whatever, okay? So all kinds of things happening to my external body that causes deformation. There are normal strains here as well as shear strains. And when I look at this segment here, this AB, I notice this angle now, this, I have this new angle, which I will call theta prime, this new angle, which is no longer 90. And, you know, the old 90 was somewhere, you know, over here, put it in light green, you know, somewhere over here was this original a b c okay and this was 90. and my shear strain which uses the symbol gamma the greek letter gamma so here gamma and and here between these axes i'll call this gamma x y is equal to 
the original angle, pi over 2, the 90 degrees, minus the new angle. Okay? It's a change in angle that occurs. And this is typically in units of radians. And you can do, also you can convert it into degrees if you wanted to later. So you would have, in degrees, it would be, you know, um, pi over 2 is 90 degrees minus theta prime in degrees, okay, in degrees. But, but this right here is really the, the common equation that's used, the shear strain, pi over 2 minus theta prime. And as you can gather from the equation, but w as you can gather from this equation here, as my, if my angle or my shear strain, my external loading causes this angle to close up, or uh, let's say theta prime is less than pi over 2, then my shear strain is positive, okay? So it's like my angle from 90 degrees is closing up, and or if theta prime is greater than pi over 2, then my shear strain is negative or less than zero, and which means that my, my angle or my, my this, you know, this 90 degrees is opening up, it's becoming greater than 90, okay? And really, just like before, these line segments, they're exaggerated. You know, we want to be able to look at this at a specific point. And so it really, this line segment represents this very tiny point that's not visible to that. You know, it'd be like a dot, like, like that point right there. All right, so we, we would say the shear strain at that point. Okay, well, that hopefully gives you a feel for shear strain and, and how to calculate it. You know, at least I've introduced the equation to you. And then, and then we'll do some more. We'll do some calculations, all right? Make it happen and, and see how it works with some numbers and things, and, and you'll enjoy it, well, at least a little bit. See ya. Bye.